think I might clip it on the front. I need that in a bucket. That what do you say, nice. sorry? I need that in a bucket, it's nice. <laughs> the coffee? <It's> gorgeous. <laughs> what are you saying about your um, clothing? You've just come straight from the gym. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're at the gym. Do you mind me saying? <laughs> it would never have happened. 18 months ago, it would never have happened. It wouldn't have happened before, would it? No. Thank you for coming down to talk You're to welcome. me. welcome. I appreciate it. I'm eating, I'll have that. Uh, no, it's alright. Well, you've just come straight from the gym, haven't you? So you've got to get your calories back in. You're starving, you've been working hard. I have. You've I've been, been working very hard. You've been with the Emma Stewart. I have. The torturous. She, great torturous. <laughs> she works me hard. You're actually enjoying it though, aren't I'm you? I'm loving it. And Twice a week now. Twice a week. Twice a week. And the reason, I, the reason I wanted to come down to talk to you is you've made absolutely massive changes, haven't you? Not only unbelievable. in... Unbelievable. Well, if you say it's unbelievable, unbelievable then good, I agree. It's not only that, because it's, it's so far from what I had in mind when I first came. In what way? Well, when, you first, when I first came to you, all I wanted to do was just lose my weight. Yeah. I just wanted to get shot of the way, you yeah. know, desperate, 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 things. desperate. Well, my first text to you was, I need some help. Yeah. I need some help. Yeah. And, and it went through me to ask because I didn't want to count calories. <laughs> no. And you'd been watching my public videos. I'd watched them for three months prior to joining. That's pretty normal. People do that. People and watch them for a while. Like most people, after a few weeks, it was like, I wish I'd done it sooner. <laughs> um, well, w when we met, if you don't mind me saying, you were quite nervous about okay. about the entire thing. Y y you're mm. the longest consultation that I've ever had for the program. You've got, to, you've got to consider these things carefully. We had two consultations. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. I do. The first time, you obviously, you sent me a message, and I said I could tell it was a heartfelt message, and. I said, all right, we need to meet to talk about this, and then you agreed. And that's got to be pretty nerve-wracking for you to even start with. Yeah. Coming to meet a bald guy who's not necessarily relatable, coming to talk to somebody you don't know about things you're unhappy with. So that's got to be stressful we, to start with. We did. With, we had an hour. It. We did, and we didn't talk about anything to do with the program at all, no. did we? we? We spoke about you. We spoke about what had been going on in the past. Yep. Which I'm going to ask you about in a few minutes. Um, how, why you were coming to see me, how you were feeling, yeah. and you were worried and nervous about the entire thing. Frightened. Yeah. Um, so we, we spoke for an hour or so, and then you had to go pick your son up. Yes. <laughs> or something. I had to something. go. <laughs> you that was to it. Go. I've got to go. I know. I'll, I'll see you later. And I think the second one was the next day, I think, um, or it was about, very soon. It was 18th, 22nd of December was our first meeting. <laughs> if you remember the date. 22nd of December. <laughs> yeah. And 24th of December was our second meeting. Christmas Eve. Yeah, did you start on Boxing Day? I started counting calories on Boxing Day. And you were reluctant for the calorie counting thing to start with, weren't you? I was very reluctant. Because How come? you were going to take away my food. <laughs> you were going to take away your food. And you were going to make me feel hungry. And uh, Previously you, you were know, on Slimming World, I was you? on previ Yeah, previously I was on Slimming World. And the attraction to you from Slimming World was huge, that they don't take away volumes food. of food. Volumes of food, yeah. Huge platefuls of food to fill, over consume, to fill more than what I actually, as you, you, you said, I, my diet was relatively healthy, a yes. lot of healthy food. Because Slimming World's a quality improvement program, it but not a necessarily of, a quantity yeah. control program. So lots you're eating, veg, yeah, lots yeah. of fruit. Completely agree. Pasta, rice, homemade, homemade cooked bolognese, yeah. you know, yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Huge volumes of it because that's what I could have. Yeah, because you were following their programme to the letter. I was following their programme to the letter. You, you know Slumming World's programme almost better than anybody I've ever met. I, you know it inside out better than me. On and off, about 10, 12 years. 10 or 12 years. Doing Slimming World. And the first time I joined, in the space of three years, I probably lost four stone. That is powerful. In well the space done. of three years while taking steroids. Yes. On long-term steroid therapy. Yeah. And then, Very nice. Yeah, I was really pleased. It yeah. took a long time. I was really pleased, and then life got in the way Happens. because um, my mum passed away at the time, and of course, dieting just like 
goes out the window. Yep. You don't actually change any of your behaviour or habits and junk came back. So when I went back to Slimming World, the, the, when I was ready to go back, just didn't come off. Didn't, I don't know whether what was different, but it wasn't moving and it took 18 months to lose two stone. Still, still good weight loss, but yep. slow. But to get that last two stone before a holiday took drastic measures where they have, on part of their plan, you basically cut out your carbs. Yep. So it's half speed, yep. super speed food and half protein. Yep. So I did that to get two stone award prior to going to on my abroad holiday. And when I came back, I put on nine pounds. I thought, okay, a lot of this will drop pretty quickly. You know, getting back into it, a lot of it will drop off pretty quickly. A lot of it will be water, drop off. And it didn't. It didn't? It didn't. And when, when was this? When was this happening? So that would have been September. September time just, just, so just before yeah okay and it's quite just ironic because we the, the, the community have got less than a six degree se uh, rule of separation amongst community members and ex slimming world members in terms of the groups that we've all been to explain so a lot of the community when you look at, at their Facebook connection yeah a lot of their friends and a lot of my friends are all from the same Slimming World groups and you can okay. track which groups they've been to <laughs> by the friends they've got. Over time. So the majority, a lot of your members, a lot of your community members will have familiarities in terms of groups we've been to. Of course. And stories that we've had. Of course. And Because you're not an uncommon tale. No. And so it's quite ironic that actually I was introduced to your public page by a mutual Facebook friend who was part of my Slimming World group. Yeah. And she liked your video. And your video was why Slimming World works but didn't work for you. Yeah. <laughs> and by this time I was like, what am I doing? Why am I failing at this? Why aren't I? Lo I was desperate to lose weight. I was really overweight and miserable, uncomfortable in my clothes, just didn't want to move around, didn't want to go out. You weren't moving well either at that point, even if you did want to go out, you, you, your ability no. to move was much worse than it is now, Terrible. wasn't it? really bad actually, yeah. for a woman of my age, yeah. really bad. And, and um, anxiety to go out as well, I remember you, just, you saying this, wouldn't, yeah. uh, Didn't go on my Christmas, my work's Christmas do, wouldn't go clothes shopping, didn't want to know because I didn't want to buy nice clothes and be overweight in them. I understand. I didn't want to buy a nice sparkly top and still be a fat person in it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you just don't want to do it. Yeah. Family events, yeah. photos, you know, you dread them. Yeah. Physically dread them. Mm. And I watched your video and I thought, well, this makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and he's talking about food and food volumes and calories right uh oh this guy calorie counts so i kind of watched the video thought about it made sense but it's calorie counting and then the next video came up and the next video came up and each time i was saying this makes sense this kind of is right what he's saying is right and it makes sense and for three months I avoided <laughs> the biology of losing fat, mm. the, the, the biology of it, which I understood, you know, I did understand biology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember I, in November I bought a three month countdown because I thought that was my motivator, you know, I, I, by three months it'll get me over Christmas into the January. I have to go every week because you've paid for it. Every week, you stay to group. People who stay to group are, less, uh, are more likely to have more successful. Agreed. I was lost nothing. Pound off, pound off. 
pound off, pound on. And for three months that went on to the point where I thought, I'm not going to sit and cry in group anymore because you would. So you, you would you, be so, you would, you, would, you would feel so failed by your, your efforts. Your efforts reap no reward at all that you for were, you. So you were crying in groups? So you would cry with frustration or anger or just think, why am I doing it? What, what's the point in doing it? But you go because there is no other option because you know that if you don't go, the weight will increase. It's even worse, yeah, exactly. So you go because you just hope that one week you might get a really good loss, you know, and by some magic you'll have lost four pounds and all will be forgiven you know and yeah previous weeks I'd, I'd probably not drunk enough or I hadn't eaten my sins or I'd kind of, eaten your sins, yeah, yeah. Or and not drunk not enough eat, or you've not eaten enough or you've put yourself <laughs> on a diet that was another that was another good one four, you, four reasons that don't make sense oh, so far oh there, there <laughs> are more there are just more. levels of bullshit there, just. There, there are more lots more you know you could write a list of look, of, look. Of, of reasons why you haven't lost weight and, and you share it amongst all these people in this <laughs> this this circle and then you what, know, do, what do you think to those reasons now looking back that you know the real it's reasons though it's, it's it, disappointing isn't it? it it's bizarre that you're so willing to accept such advice from somebody who's actually a slimming world member yeah that's bought a, into a franchise yeah so um, they have some training that's true they do have some training. I went on that recruitment talk myself. Did you? I did. To become a rep as well? To become a consultant. And I, I, I did go on that. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't actually do it. Now, some people are very successful on Slimming World. And some people, a lot it's of true. people, struggle. It's also true. And I struggled. But... I understand now that's more to do with my wiring, my brain, <laughs> my <like> brain, <laughs> and my 10,000 years of evolution. You liked that section of our course, didn't you? Uh, Snacking and hunger, the psychology section. You know, section. It's, 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 it's the key, you know. I remember at one, at one lecture when we were talking about that, you cried at that lecture. So it's, it's like it's not, not because you were upset, but because it was hitting you in the soul that you felt like somebody finally understood. It's just like that how, it can a, how can a thin person understand a fat person's struggle? <laughs> <laughs> I do, and no. I say it. I, I said this to my neighbour. Yeah. I said I don't know how. Yeah. But this man understands what it's like to be a fat person, and I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get how he can understand what it's what it's like emotionally and psychologically. <laughs> <laughs> to be overweight. Thank you. Do, do, you, <laughs> do you remember um, that you watched one of my public videos before you joined? And it was about hunger. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I, said on one, I said on one of the videos, just as a passing comment, that hunger isn't that bad. That on a scale of one to ten, it's only like a two or three out of ten. Yeah. It's like somebody constantly just jabbing yeah. you, or it's like you've got something in your shoe. Yeah. And you said to me that you were angry at that because oh. you thought that's... I Only was, something a thin person like, would say. Where's the back button? Because I'm not watching this man no more. <laughs> you know, it's, that is something that only a thin person can say that doesn't have the wiring inside to overeat. But as we get to know you, yeah, you have got that wiring to overeat. I was going to say, so now how you do you do. feel about it? Now you, you can control your hunger, can't you? Uh, it, it really, and, and you have to understand this. I was fearful of the feeling of hunger. I, no, I understand. Fearful. You were scared of hunger. I was no. scared of calorie counting because I was frightened of losing my food. I understand. And the feeling of being overfull more than... You liked what, that feeling. I, I liked that feeling. I, I, I buzzed on that feeling. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I didn't have that feeling, there was something missing. I hadn't served enough food mm. on the plate mm. if I didn't... And that's where I went wrong with Slimming World. Because to have unlimited pasta and unlimited rice, and to say that you can eat those things without 
knowing I, I, I came to you and didn't know what a portion was of food and what what happened what happened when we started well, I thinking? cried I cried again didn't I <laughs> let's face it I cried again because I was having a meltdown day three because I had to weigh out oh. rice Ooh. and I didn't know how much a serving was and you and cried then, didn't you, you, you messaged cried. me about it didn't you I cried you messaged me about I know I was that hungry and I'd made myself a crumb car, uh, chili con carne and I'd, I had a coffee cup to measure rice out previously. I like know, a mug of rice. Like a mug. Uncooked rice. Uncooked rice. Boom, get it in there. <laughs> Little rice mountain in my sieve. Yeah. And it would go in a dish and copious amounts of corn chili would go on top. And now I was serving it out onto a tea plate. With, with the correct portion. With the correct portion. And you messaged me about this and you were real unhappy, weren't you? I so was. You, you came to me because Slumming World were upsetting you and I just upset you even more. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I, did I was just like, and I remember looking at it and, and weighing things out on these scales because I, I, I was determined I wanted to do it right. Yeah. What you were saying was right. Mm. At the end of the day, I knew what you were saying was right. And I had to admit that I was overeating, following the plan, but overeating on food that was free. It's healthy, but it's still calories, isn't it? You know, why have one salmon fillet when you can have two? Beautiful. Because it's free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? yeah? Why have a 75 gram portion of rice when you can have a coffee mug of it? And you're not against plan. So it's not your fault and I don't I don't I don't blame people for getting it wrong and for not doing well in the slumming world because I'm sure in the small print it's in there but who's gonna hear that when when they're wired like I am exactly to want that extra serving that's exactly it because they do say stop when you're full yeah. but people get full at different levels some people don't get full not not yeah. usually as much as other people some people can eat way more I mean I get fuller quicker now yeah I can go longer and think, oh, I'm feeling a bit hungry. Okay, well, I'm, that's all right. Cause I'm <laughs> eating later. That's it. You're frightened. Because when you wake up, you think, right, I can have a big, massive breakfast, but what am I having for tea? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What am I going to yeah. fill my face with at <laughs> tea time? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I, I'm like, okay. So, uh, it, 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 it's that... It's that understanding of, of where your brain's going to take you with food. That's been understanding your portion sizes, been a massive thing for me. That first week was tough. It was hard. I'll tell anybody that it wasn't mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. I'd overeaten for a long, long time. I came from a family of overeaters. Mum fed us with love, food that we loved. You know, she did that. And in conjunction with a brain that gets a buzz from food, a high from food, you know, it was always destined to fail. You know, it, it was always going to be, I will always have more than what I need. And it's easy for you to have more than what you need because you're a small lady. Yeah. And you're you're more active now, but you were less active oh, then. I was weren't I, you so there was no walking done. There was, there was no, they wouldn't have got me in a gym. No. Would never have dreamt. I know, that's how we started this conversation and to, now look at you. <laughs> I just wanted to lose the weight. I weren't bothered about no cardio. No. Forget that. Yeah. You know, I said that to you as well. I said you can forget don't that. Want, you know, I'm, I'm for the first few months, all I did was track my calories. I weighed my food because I knew I didn't know what I was serving myself. And I couldn't trust myself not yeah, yeah. to over fill my plate. Call it portion distortion, don't they? I, I couldn't, you know. <laughs> it was like, okay, let's just keep, there's an extra two spoons in the pan. You know, I'm throwing food away for me now. It's still difficult, but I do it. Mm. I do it now, whereas before I would never have done it. Mm. In fact, my, my family now know if there's food left over, and you've finished eating your your curry and rice or your pizza and chips, then you don't leave it out. It goes away. It clear, because I'm going in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even now, I'm going in there and I'm picking at it. Yeah, yeah. Regardless of how full I'm feeling, 
I'm doing just human that. nature, isn't I'm it? I'm doing, you know, or if I'm asked, do I want such and such? And now it's lots of self-talk. No, I don't need that. No, thank you. Because tomorrow I might have it. Yeah. And then it comes on to your next saying, which was a game changer for me. You can have anything you want, but not everything you want. And when I heard that <laughs> on one of your videos, I was like, shit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's it, isn't it? So I can't have the huge portion of rice and the big free breakfast, you know, with fry light, the cooked breakfast with full tin of baked beans and mushrooms and tomatoes and corn sausages, which was like, you know, half a thing, you know, big free breakfast with your healthy me, you know, with, and I was easily consuming 3,000 calories a day. 3,000 calories a day. Healthy food easily, as well. Easily, easily. But by the time the first week was over, I knew, based on previous food, that I was consuming around 3,000 calories a day. Mm -hmm. Easily, mm -hmm. if not more. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason why I was losing weight. But I felt so, so ashamed because I was overweight. I'd overeaten and by the time I came to you I was kind of in a self-destruct mode. You were kind of broken down. I was broken down and I was like, what's the point? Slimming World's not working and I'm, I might as well just eat whatever I want to eat. And why Why not? Because what? what's the point? If I can't lose it, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm never going to be able to lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence the text, because I did, I did need some help. And, and now, um, not, not only are you thankful, but I'm thankful. Everybody in our program Honestly, and groups thankful, and everybody who watches this is going to be thankful that you trusted me and made a change. It, it is. It's a tr you either do it or you don't. You, you either believe what you say or you don't, because there's no half measures with it. You either believe the tips you send and the advice you give, and you follow it. You follow it to the letter. You're kind to yourself and you understand the process of learning and winning <laughs> and the excitement that brings, you know, and the support that you get, you know, the your mind because it's like a little collective of minds that all think the same in, in our, terms inside of our community. Food, yeah. The psychology. Because the everyone's food, there for the same reason. You know. And the majority of them have come from some sort of diet anyway. Yeah that's failed them miserably. That's everyone, you know, isn't it? That's everyone. It, and it's a shame really that a last resort should be this when it's the easiest thing I've ever done. We make it as easy as possible. It's the easiest thing and I would never go back to anything else now. It's, it's liberated me from food, mm. not only in my mind, but options, food choices. Yeah. It's like I go out and eat, I, I have nice food at home, my partner cooks for me and I can, I can balance that over oh, once you understand did you have your scone with cream yet that's when i go to turkey when's that coming up thursday beautiful i knew it was soon i didn't know if you'd already been my yet. cream tea, <laughs> and my cream cream tea yeah. i'm going to have the cream tea i know you are exactly good I <laughs> but i shall also be walking lots i know you will because you know how to balance i remember you went to the seaside re set recently not too Bournemouth. long ago and you you messaged me because you weren't worried you were you you were gonna you were gonna you knew how to balance and you weren't worried yeah. about for the first time. But I had a cream tea there, and I knew that it, it was a street full of these little cafes with home baking, <laughs> and, and my brain was like, ooh, 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 you know, ooh, there's that and there's that, but I can only have one, and it's like you said, there's always another time, yeah. and there is always another time. It never goes and away. And that's this week. <laughs> <laughs> that's this week. Beautiful. I can have my other time this week. And and you did you did trust me, and I I am thankful for that, and so is everybody else, because the changes have been absolutely phenomenal. Do you remember a time? Do you remember that time you almost didn't trust me? Do you remember when oh, your weight stopped going down? It stopped going down for three it, weeks, it, and I was like, this <laughs> man's having a laugh. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it'd been going down very nicely, hadn't it? Oh, very, right from the beginning. Yeah. All the way, just as we expect. Very consistently. And how for a few months would you say? Yeah. Can't exactly remember. I, I got remember to what, April this time last year. Yeah. Got to April, and I'm like, and you text me and you said, how's the weight going? Uh, uh, what's the weight doing? 
and I said not a lot at the moment and yeah. then I looked and I thought this is coming up to three weeks yeah and then I messaged you back I'm like it's not been it's just been bobbing for about three up a weeks pound down a pound again just like this bobbing that's all right you're eating maintenance I'm like I'm not <laughs> so I said you were eating a bit more than you expected it's basically. okay don't worry you just you're just eating more calories you're eating I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> <laughs> you were upset at me weren't you I, I was really angry I was really angry I and it took took a bit of stropping to get past that and then I thought well you thought you were going to prove me wrong, didn't you? I did. I, I wasn't having it because the videos are like, oh, you'll, it'll stop and it'll stall and then you'll get face on and then you'll think, oh, it's not working. And then you'll <laughs> eat extra calories and then it won't stop and then it will stop working and it'll be nobody else's fault but your own. <laughs> and I'm like, right. Is that an impression of me, by the way? Yeah, Is that what uh, I sound yeah, like? Yeah, you'll say, <laughs> and it'll be, you'll, you'll have done it to yourself like this. And I'm like, right. Let's see, shall we, <laughs> Mr. And, Connor? <laughs> and and did did we see? Where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we we still to this day don't know why the weight stalled. I don't know what it. I did, but Th there were more calories coming in from somewhere, somewhere? weren't there? Because and how can I trust you when it's all going right and then say you're lying when it's not? <laughs> how can I do that? I either trust you what you're saying, oh, or I don't. Yeah. And I can't have face on because somewhere along the line, I was eating maintenance and didn't realise it. And it's as, as you know now, the body naturally tries to regulate back to maintenance. So if you if you just let off the gas pedal slightly, it's not enough to make the weight come back, but it is enough to stall sometimes. Yeah. And all all I suggested to you was look back through your food diary to a time where you were losing weight. Yeah. See what you were eating, and ju just do me a favour for a week. Just eat exactly that again and then just see what happens with the weight and it drops two days boom boom it drops weight straight down again straight and it oh, carried yeah. on and it carried on it carried on i had the usual one week stall when that first happens it's a bit ooh. but, but at first That's normal, but then you have it? to understand it you have to understand how the body works and you have to be reassured a couple of times about it of course and then you, you think, used me for a lot of reassurance at the beginning a you? lot yes and, and that's the thing you see you, you get that here but you get you get you you get your consultant's text number you know mm -hmm. you get a, a mobile number That's and you make you friends but it's like when it's 10 o'clock at night and you've got a massive craving for something somebody else has opened like they start <laughs> talking to you like I remember the just crisps or the person well the, the, the chocolate the chocolate <laughs> the Thorntons to be precise the Thorntons and it wasn't long after I joined and I remember food's okay for me as long as the wrapper's still intact okay it doesn't bother me if it's unopened fine mm -hmm. as soon as it's opened the little voice starts mm -hmm. and I was in the house all by myself and I just messaged up to the group the, the Thorntons are talking to it, me into our Facebook community yep. yeah and within seconds I was getting strategies because I knew it was a craving and not a hunger yeah a massive thing for me to understand that you know the cravings are okay to satisfy sometimes yeah you know <laughs> yeah but you know, are you hungry or are you craving? And what, where that comes where from that and how comes, to cope and deal with to, each one. You yeah. know, how to deal with all that and, and how to not feel bad that you've... <laughs> not to feel absolutely wretched that you've eaten off a bag of Doritos. <laughs> I know. You know, that, you, that the world has ended and you've ruined the entire diet because one evening you eat off a bag of Doritos. I know. With nacho dip. <laughs> <laughs> with nacho cheese dip. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like and within within seconds half a dozen replies and I followed followed the advice that people gave me and then it passed yeah gone yeah which is another thing you learn and you know you get you understand that these are like ebbs and flows <laughs> yeah. your brain trying to screw you over in it you yeah. know your brain's trying to make you do something that in your art you don't want to do and then you feel bad because you've given into it mm. which is all a load of rubbish really anyway mm. 
isn't it? It's, it's just, it, it's like um, a self-perpetuating cycle, isn't it? You know, you binge, you feel bad, you know, you try again, you binge, you feel bad. And I think that's the other thing that you get from Slimming World as well in the fact that especially holidays or parties or birthdays you know there's this they do teach you to be kind to yourself they yeah. do ex they do say because a lot of people when you're overweight you're vulnerable you, you don't realize how vulnerable you are mm. to yourself actually mm. more than anybody mm. there is no harsher person than than yourself when you're overweight when you've got a lot of weight to shift you know and and they do teach you that to be kind to yourself you know you, there is a lot of love in them groups a lot of kindness in them groups there is but what it doesn't teach you is how to cope with life events that come up parties because then you can just have what you want and then get back onto it you know yeah. forget about it but not about how fat loss is average over time and you just balance it out over the next two or three weeks you know you kind of eat a load of rubbish three days out of the week and then you starve yourself for the remaining until you weigh day and then it starts that cycle that you were just talking about doesn't it you know it? it's more, more often not it's a dieting cycle as well yeah. you know you leave your slimming world group you go back oh on, a, on like a macro on an even bigger cycle you than know, that you, 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 you spend, you lose some good weight, you leave. Something happens in life. You go back, you leave. And always you put more weight back on than what you lost in the first place. It's the yo-yo, isn't it? Always. Always put more on than you, than you originally lost. But this has been the first time that I've never put a figure on my, my weight loss goal. I know, we Ever. I know we don't get people to do that, so. Ever. <laughs> I'm still even now, you know, I have a number in mind, but uh, you know, actually I'm all right. I'm feeling pretty okay. You know, slimmest I've been in 20 years. <laughs> Smallest size I've been in 20 years. Turning up now. Getting my little Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Your biceps are getting better than mine. You're making me a <laughs> little oh, bit. Look. look at, yes. <laughs> Your kid. I'm going to put that on the screenshot Miss, of, Miss of, Emma. Of, of, of you. Oh, oh, let like me do you a good one then. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Emma. Beautiful. Amazing. And so what's gone on with your weight loss since, so since you joined us then? How, it how took much me 10 more? months to lose three stone with you. 10 Beautiful. months. Consistently mm. tracking my calories, mm. enjoying life, mm. understanding the process, mm. understanding my body, mm. working with my body, mm. not fighting against it. Mm. And um, I kind of came to about October time, you know, was starting to get really, really hard to get to this magic number that I was had in mind. And I was finding that I was naturally bobbing even with consistent calories naturally bobbing and actually to get it, that Christmas I got into my first size 12 jumpsuit for my Christmas work do and I was like how can it get any better than this so what am I really do I need that extra two kilograms that really won't make me look any different just because I've reached that that number mm. you know officially in terms of what you've posted onto the community, I've never had it. Lucille's reached her target post. No, I know. Do you know most people don't? And I'm, I'm not, you no, know, no, I'm most happy people with don't. it. I know. Because they were like, you I know, know, I know I'm done. I don't. I'm, I know. I know, I know you're done as well. I know we I'm know you're finished. done. I know. And now I'm finding that I'm just. It's. Bobbing along nicely. M most most people are the same, you know, because it's not. People expect like it's a go go go, and then one day, boom, you're just yeah, there. But it's there. not like that. No. It's a, as you're walking slowly towards the goal. Firstly, the goal moves and changes as you change as a person. But that's the other thing. I mean, I couldn't even set a goal when I first came to meet you. Yeah. Because the first goal you meet when you join a slimming group, 
is how much weight do you want to lose? Yeah. What's your first interim target? Yeah. What's your second? It, you know, not you keep going until you feel like you're done. <laughs> Which is the real game, isn't it? Just keep, you know, just keep going until you feel like you're done. It's until you're happy, isn't it? That's what my job is, not to make the scale say a no. certain thing, it's to make you happy with who you are, And now it? I just kind of jump on... I mean, I hated getting on the scales in, in the beginning, hated it. At the beginning of our programme. And when you say, <laughs> yeah. weigh multiple times in the week, and I thought, God, weighing once a week is bad enough. Yeah. But to weigh two to three times a week... Turns out it's better though, doesn't it? great <laughs> it's great and I did I went and bought some kitchen scales and I went and bought some bathroom scales yeah. and I put them in their one little spot and in the morning same time every morning I would get on the scales and I would put it on my graph and, and now have, the graph's beautiful I have a wonderful it? graph I hope you put it on the wall I might <laughs> put it on mine <laughs> I have a wonderful graph it's beautiful you know and it's not it's a it's a substantial amount of weight but it, you know, it, it's not the, the most um, enormous amount of weight, but it's me, it, 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 it was enough for me. It's the change in who you are as a person, I mean, to me, that's bigger, to be going bigger to, than the weight loss change. To, to, to be able to manage in, not turn into, I mean, it's, it's so liberating. I can't even explain how liberating, not, not to be trapped by the food cycle of eating when things are rough, eating, you can eat when things are happy, but again, a lot of people get overweight because they're happy. Yeah. In the same way that a lot of people like get overweight. Like when people get into relationships and you're just trying to have a nice time. You know, you're eating out a lot yeah. and you're having takeaways a lot. Yeah, and then all yeah. of a sudden you're kind of not going out as much, yeah. you know, you know, you know, and all of a sudden you've gone up a dress size. But that's okay because it's only one dress size. And then all of a sudden it's two dress sizes. You know? Try and sort it, it sorts a bit, but yeah. then it kind of something comes up and then you gain back more. Yeah. The it's, cycle. It's, it, it's, it's been a, a life change. I mean, I said this really early on. I knew early on it changed my life forever. And we managed to break that cycle, didn't we? And it's, it has. It, you know, it really has. Because I can go, I can... All I need to do is turn over the back of a packet, look at the calories, are they worth it for this? <laughs> is it worth it? That's is the it question, isn't it? it? Is it worth it? Yeah, no. Perhaps yes or no, what do yes you want? No. That's it, isn't it? What do you want? You know, what do I, not what do I fancy or what? I eat a lot of ready meals, which I would never have yeah. done on Slimming yeah. World, you know, because of the sins. Mm. You know, I have really nice food. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you nice do. You, you enjoy your food, don't you? I you enjoy love your time my food, I know you do. but it's not taking anything away. It's because you've got that power back, you know, you're not helpless. Yeah. You're not, the desperation's mm. not there. The desperation to, and the feeling, feeling love that you've actually had a piece of cake or, you know, you've, you've, you've had two biscuits and all is, you know, ruined for the entire week. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. Magically. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the goal setting. I don't go. I don't post goals so much now. What, oh, our goal setting. I love the goal oh, setting. Oh, I know you were on it completely. The checking in every day, the availability to you that you know you're really kind of having a rough moment or a great moment. You know, you, I mean that three month countdown that I bought for Slimming World, and I hardly went. I know you did, yeah. I hardly went because I'd already had two months of losing nothing. And I, I received no contact at all from that group leader. A friend of mine messaged me to see if I was okay, but nothing in terms of Slimming World contacting me to see, I haven't seen you for a while, are you okay? And I knew I wasn't getting, I wasn't gonna get that from you. You know, there would always be a message coming from you, especially in the early days. Mm. How's it going? Mm. We struck, Every day you say, if there's any struggles, post it up. Every day. Every day. Every day. It's already happened today. There's a, you know, <laughs> anything you want to ask. But it's not only that, it's just the other people that are there. The community is beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's, it's not, it's not, I wish I could show the community to people watching and, and what it's like because it's not, people think it's me. Mm. 
e even people sometimes thank, people on the program thank me for what I've done for them and I've done nothing. I'm, I might have created the space to allow all these people to become who they could have become anyway. I might have allowed that space to be there, but you did it. You did every single thing yourself and it's the community as a whole moving forward that's it's so powerful. Just, and it's, it's quite a, a fluid group as well, you know, we, a lot of things happen within it yeah. that we're just free to do. You of course, know, you, you've changed so dramatically to the point where, like, you, like we said at the beginning before, you had no confidence even for yourself, but now you lead group walks. I, I like my little, my little you, end you of all, month. You organise this and you lead group walks and you are so motivated and out in front, checking everybody's yeah. okay, powering Let's go on. walking. Oh, you've, you've just been exercising, we said yeah. that wouldn't have happened. We had Never. the meeting on Sunday, didn't we? We had the group meeting, you came down, and what happened? You coached a lady who was struggling for an hour, didn't yeah. you? Because based on what I've taught you and the changes you've made, you've now become a phenomenal coach in your own right, and now you can pass on what you've learned and your struggles from your perspective, taking that knowledge as well. That lady was struggling. She was. And you just blasted her with the correct information. I didn't even open my laptop. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> it, it was, I, I just leave you because I'm, obviously I'm sat there, but. But you get it from everybody. You know, there's, there's others that, you know, if you, and it's not only that, you get the text messages from people as well. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you've been a bit quiet for a bit, mm. you know, mm. you okay? Mm. How are you doing? Mm. Or if they're struggling, mm. they'll text you, mm. really struggling. Mm. Can I have a bit of help, mm. you know? And sometimes it's just about helping each other, isn't it? It you is. just got to, because we all understand. Yeah. We all understand what it's like to have a brain that wants to work against you. And, and, and to, get, to get that buzz from eating food, you know? And, it, and know that actually that's okay. It's like saying, well, you know, I've got this illness and, and I shall bereft myself forevermore because I'm, I'm not a well person. Yeah. Or you say, well, that's how I'm made. Yeah. That's how I'm made. Yeah. Some people aren't and yeah. they naturally are thinner or it's people. Like, it's like being angry at yourself for getting older. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's the way the body is, works. You've you just got to understand <laughs> the power that your brain might trying to impose on you sometimes. Instincts, isn't And it? sometimes you're all right with it and you let it do it. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you say, uh-uh, it not happening. <laughs> it not happening. You gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them sometimes, yeah, you don't are. you? Sometimes you give got in to and pick sometimes your battles. you don't. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, I think the other thing is as well, is like, it's quite nice actually that as, as the majority of us are women and you've got some really nice chaps in there that have made some really positive, but Powerful. you actually talk about a menstrual cycle <laughs> rather than a star week, you know? A what, sorry? A star week, which is, <laughs> which is a, a word for being on your period right with swimming wheels oh I've so, never even heard of that oh yeah star week I'm on a star week so if you've, if you've gained a couple of pounds in that week oh I'm on a star week okay. or I'm doing my star week yeah, 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 yeah. biology is biology yeah and, women, and women's weight fluctuate with hormones and a menstrual yeah. cycle and, and to have you give videos educational videos about why your weight spikes mm. And not to create a panic like, mm. oh, yeah, yeah. I've put on five pounds, mm. but I've been sticking to my calories. Mm. To understand the difference between weight and fat and how your body can mm. play games yeah. with your weight. It's, 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 it's quite nice to just talk about your, your body and how it, it's designed to work. Yeah, I agree. Um... Like, because my confidence comes from the same place your confidence now comes from. Because people say to me, oh, you're confident on video. And it's like, yeah, because it's not my opinion what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It doesn't it doesn't really matter to me too much whether you like it or not, because it's not my opinion. It's just mm -hmm. the way it works. But it, I'm not scared of the human body, and why should you be? You're stuck in it. You can't get out of your body, so what are you going to do? Be scared of it forever, and we're going to hide from it, pretend it's not a real thing? No, we're not. We're going to face it down, and we're going to learn about it so that you can control I mean, it. I, I just can't believe that you follow those rules that are set out in that book so kind of trustingly mm. you know that that they're there and, and you, you know you get your rules about the 
the food and the labels that the foods have got, you know, the healthy A's and the healthy B's and your speed foods and your super speed foods and, you know, they list great protein but doesn't say anything about how, how important protein is in losing weight and maintaining your body and your health of your body but, or, or to help you feel fuller for longer, focus on your protein, how to actually create a plate of food that's not going to make you hungry in the next hour. But it's still okay calorie value without just piling it on. Yeah. Yeah, without, without just piling just, it on. You know, filling your boots with unlimited stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you, you do, you, you kind of go into it. You know, your first week you have a great loss because most of it's water, you know, and then you sit in this image therapy for an you hour. Where, sorry? You call it image therapy where you sit round and you discuss your results, you know, okay. this weekly way weigh in. You have a raffle and you know, you win some stuff from shop sometimes. You know. And then it's like you've really tried hard and then there's a woman opposite who's had cheesecake and nights out and oh I've lost two pounds but I don't know how. <laughs> It, Please. That, that's you know creating a not, not I do, and it's that's creating a a competition atmosphere which is not right because everybody's it different just makes as you, you know. You feel now. awful the fact that you've really tried your best. Yeah. Like I said in the beginning, you get you know it's the fact that you don't you, you don't mind trying your best if you're going to get the reward. You I know, understand. And, and to try your best and get no reward or very little mm. reward after a week, it's it's because you feel a failure you feel yeah. like you've failed massively at something that everybody else is managing to do yeah it's not nice that comparison that it creates people are um, very surprised when they come to our group meetings about what it's like and it's because they've only experienced slumming the world before the dieting mind is a sh you know it's a, str it's a strong it takes a lot and you either give it up completely and know that you're going to follow exactly what you say there's no halfway road. You either really try your best to forget everything that's gone before <laughs> and just know that this is the only way from now on. And it's rubbish that it has to be that way because I don't know what other people are teaching people that you have to forget everything to come and work with us because we only teach what's true. So I don't, it's, it's annoying, disappointing for people that they've gone through all that time of incorrect information that they have to then reset and delete that information to learn what's actually correct. Yeah. It should have been throughout the last 10 or 12 years, you should have already been getting the correct information. It should not have had to get to the point where you were so broken and trodden down by it all and then so confused and worried and thought it might never get done and that you had to come see me. 10 and or 12 years later. I wasn't willing to wait until after Christmas to do it. Mm. You know, to start calorie counting on a, on Boxing Day. That's powerful. Was, that was, you know, that was how desperate. You know, you, you know, with a lot of diets, you're either on it or you're off it, mm. and that's it. You know, you're either on it and you're powering on, or you're off it. And you, you, that's it, it's carte blanche for eating anything. Yeah. But, you know, to, to, to have a, find a balance where you can enjoy life and enjoy food, but know how to diet effectively. That's all we preach from day one though, isn't it? And now you it's, teach others to do it's it. A, and it's, it's, a it's a game amazing. changer, it's a game changer. Well. It's changed my life completely. I, and honestly, I, I can't, I mean, I'm sat here for God's sake talking to you about it. That's how I thankful I am. I know. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're, you're now, you're now spreading the love and the knowledge uh, around. This is how much different of a person I, you've I, become. I'm you didn't even talking. want to come talk to me about it at the beginning, and now you're talking to everyone about it, aren't you? So, I, I'm. You know, it's. Thank you for coming down. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. And there's more to come from you, isn't there? There's more to come. You still, even though you finished your goals, you still come down to the group meetings. Come. I, you're still I, I still training come yourself. To those group meetings because they're the key to keeping some people like it don't the knowledge they? I love it I want to see you all the re time reinforcing the knowledge in it it is it is it, it's it lets you put perspective in, in and realize that you're not alone yeah. and that there are people that do understand even if they are slim 
<laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming down, Lucy. You're welcome. I'm going to turn this off and then you're going to have yeah. to give me a hug. No, Thank okay. you so much for coming down. Uh, I appreciate I your time. I hope it was okay. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I hope it was okay for you. I waffled some shit, don't I? <laughs>